Welcome to the Joy of Music. My name is Diane Bish and I would like to invite you to join us today as we take you on a musical journey on the new Radisson Seven Seas Mariner. Our music today comes from the Allen Diane Bish signature organ placed in the magnificent theater here on the ship. And then following our journey, the organ will find its permanent home in the Second Presbyterian Church of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Hence, the title of our program is From Ship to Shore. Our musical journey today takes place on the new and luxurious Radisson Seven Seas Mariner. The focal point of the ship is its eight-story glass atrium with the beauty and elegance of a five-star hotel. Passengers aboard this magnificent ship may enjoy a delicious meal with family and friends, enjoy the tranquility of a book in the well-stocked library, relax in the beauty of the sea and God's creation from a balcony or a deck, or attend a concert in the fine theater. I am pleased to welcome to the Joy of Music today, Suzanne McDonald, world-renowned harpist. Suzanne was the first American to win the Premier Prix in Harp at the Paris Conservatory. She is the founder of the USA International Harp Competition, Artistic Director of the World Harp Congress, and Chairman of the largest harp department in the world at Indiana University.
Today on The Joy of Music, we are bringing you a program entitled From Ship to Shore as we take a musical journey on the Radisson Seven Seas Mariner. Our journey goes from Fort Lauderdale to the Bahamas to Hamilton, Bermuda and Charleston, South Carolina. Thank you for joining us. Our journey at sea was a time of relaxation and tranquility as we enjoyed the beauty of God's creation on both land and sea.
Our musical journey on the MS Mariner, entitled From Ship to Shore, brings us back to Fort Lauderdale, where the four manual organ finally arrives at its permanent home in the Second Presbyterian Church of Fort Lauderdale.
The sanctuary of the Second Presbyterian Church in Fort Lauderdale houses many beautiful windows. Behind me stands a window with the Celtic cross containing over 30,000 pieces of glass. The chancel area contains the Good Shepherd window, which repeats simply the beloved and easily understood of messages of Christ caring for his sheep. From the radiance of this window, the chancel is bathed in light as the Good Shepherd and his staff comforts all who worship here. Here at the Second Presbyterian Church in Fort Lauderdale, the idea of the church as a ship in which the faithful can be borne safely over the sea of life into the haven of eternity is expressed in the main body of the sanctuary. The center aisle emphasizes the openness of the Christian path, and the unobstructed entry into the chancel reflects the invitation to Christian fellowship.
My name is Diane Bish and I would like to thank you for joining us today on The Joy of Music as we have brought you a program from the Radisson Seven Seas Mariner and the Second Presbyterian Church of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Thank you for joining us and we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music.